It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away, and we are underway in Foxborough. time with Sony Michelle and he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play on second down Michelle only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28 Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Allen on the punt as he gets this one away. Here's Jones. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 right at the 30. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Detroit! Detroit! Now they'll run it on the toss. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Jackson will look to throw it. Flush to his right. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On 
second down, Jackson. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's Jackson on third and long. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Fourth down, here's Jackson. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second down, here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Ty Montgomery that time. And that takes us from second to third down. I think see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Hey, 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 hey. On third down, Jackson buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, right, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guy's in the front. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. 30, 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. For Baltimore, Charles, if you look back to this season, it was pretty interesting. They start four and five. You think John Harbaugh may not be there. He's on thin ice. Joe Flacco's a quarterback. But then Lamar Jackson comes in, and everything changed. Their whole offense changed. It certainly did because of the infusion of speed at the quarterback position. And throws the ball a little bit better from the pocket than maybe he got credit for. Has to get better at that. But I think people had to adjust because Joe Flacco as a quarterback. You knew where he would be every time. Three to five steps behind center, you could go get him. With Lamar Jackson, he could be anywhere and make a big play. And how about that defense? Number one in the league and fewest yards allowed yet again. Throwing is Jackson, eluding the pressure. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kyle Van Noy, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. The Ravens on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Jackson. 
And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. As this Patriots offense comes back out, Charles, how do they match up with the Rams' defense? It's one thing's for sure. We know that they can have guys appear out of nowhere. You remember James White with a hat trick of touchdowns in Super Bowl 51. Who's it going to be this year? Well, they have so many guys to pick from, and you don't think about their offense as having a bunch of superstars. But then you start going down the line, don't forget Gronk. He can play with anyone. You know that. How about this year with Sony Michelle, the rookie runner? 53 carries in their two playoff wins. Julian Edelman, Mr. Third Down. Chris Hogan makes big catches. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rex Burkhead scored the winning touchdown against Kansas City. You go on and on and realize they have weapons all over the place. It's going to be fun to watch them match up with the Rams defense. And that Patso line needs to stop Mr. Donald, don't they? They certainly do. And so far in the playoffs, Tom Brady's been sacked zero times. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Throwing now is Brady. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan from three yards out. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. CD, before this next drive gets going, the Pro Bowl took place January 27th in Orlando. Third year in a row that the AFC has won, and really the third year in a row where the weather in Orlando has not been too kind. It was ice cold 2017, and then downpours the last couple years. Yeah, in addition to it being cool as well, again this year, so rain and cold, that hurts the crowd a little bit, but... Still, this game has evolved into what I would call a crazier type NFL game. Quick whistles to make sure guys don't get hurt when there's tackling going on. How about receivers playing defensive back? Defensive backs like Jalen Ramsey catching touchdown passes. And to cap it all off, when they awarded the MVP a trophy to, I believe, Patrick Mahomes, it broke. Yeah, indeed, it was Mahomes, the MVP of the Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 50. Throwing is Brady on third down to Michelle on the dump off. Slips past him. Where'd he go? And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. 
getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just, they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. Yeah. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Kyle Van Noy in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Jackson on third down. Crabtree with it over the middle. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You get up in your third. And that's caught inside the 30. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 48 yards. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Jackson escaping the pressure right. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson flushed out right. And yeah, this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Michael Crabtree, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. By 20, stop. 54. Wait, wait, get. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and maybe an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. Brady's got his guys first and ten, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Again, it's Michelle. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. On play action, it's Brady. And Allen's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Dwayne Allen from 21 yards away. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And he knocks it through. Koskowski now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. John Simon able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Gone, 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 gone. Now Jackson on second down. He's going deep. He's got him. Complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Jackson looking to throw on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third and two, here's Jackson being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down time for a break we'll come back and see this one out after this so first and 10 now from the 30 throwing on first down it's Jackson and lucky to get away with one there that one nearly picked second down I guess they're in a situation now fourth quarter where they're forced to take some chances but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take and that one could very easily have been intercepted and if it does get picked off that could possibly seal this one. A 
Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On third down, Jackson flush to it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. That good for 22 at a first down. going to throw here. Wide open, Julian Edelman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the pass.